The movie kicks off with a festive scene as Bill and Jess Walker put on a lively dance routine to Santa Claus is Coming Home Tonight for their children Cece, Wyatt, Miles, and even their dog Pickles in an effort to spread Christmas cheer and announce their plans to make the annual Christmas video. Unfortunately, their enthusiasm falls flat and the children are too absorbed in their own worlds to appreciate the performance. Cece finds the whole idea of a Christmas video outdated and embarrassing, and Wyatt was more interested in the digital world than family activities. Miles offers a polite but disengaged smile, and Pickles just pees under the Christmas tree. The lack of connection within the Walker family becomes more apparent later that night, and Bill and Jess attempt to have a conversation in bed, but it's clear that they're not truly hearing each other, speaking over one another without any real communication and eventually they kiss goodnight. The following morning, three days before Christmas, a radio presenter urges his listeners to look at the sky for a significant phenomena, a planetary alignment. Jess knocks on Cece's door and lectures her about cleaning her room before asking her to be in the kitchen in 12 minutes for the morning meeting. Jess then finds her husband sitting in his luxurious classic car in the garage with Miles, reminiscing about his glory days as a band member. She asks Bill to ensure that Wyatt gets ready and joins the morning meeting in the kitchen, and meanwhile Wyatt was having a Zoom meeting with his smart friend when Bill walks into the room. He asks if they could hang out after school, and he will teach Wyatt how to drive, but Wyatt says he's too scared to drive and otherwise busy preparing for the Yale interview. Jess calls the meeting to order when everyone gathers in the kitchen and updates them on several back-to-back life-changing events coming up, including Wyatt's Yale interview, Cece's soccer game, and Jess's presentation at work. Wyatt reminds them about the planetary alignment, even he wanted to attend with the family, while Bill tells them about his band's performance at the school Christmas party. Everyone tries to back out of going to the planetarium with Wyatt, but Jess insists that they all have to attend since she still cares about Christmas and wants to make a good Christmas memory with the family. After the meeting adjourns, Cece and Wyatt head to school. Wyatt and Cece have different social lives in school. While she proudly walks in with many friends waiting to pump her up and chant her name, Wyatt sneaks and crawls over to the wall to avoid his bullies. He almost successfully gets to his destination, but the sight of his school crush and neighbor, a girl named Ariana, distracts him, and Hunter and his crew of bullies get to him, and he runs to hide in the toilet to escape everyone's gaze. Meanwhile, Bill tries to synchronize the music team elsewhere with his bandmates, call him out, and the bandmates update him on an application that they had made for a TV show called So You Think You Can Dance. The band passed the audition, and a TV crew will be coming to record the band's performance during the upcoming school dance. At the same time, Jess arrives at the company, and it is clear that she's very popular amongst her colleagues, as they all wish her success for the upcoming pitch with the Molson Group, which will determine whether she makes partner at the architectural firm. Elsewhere, Cece shows her soccer prowess at practice, and the coach informs her that a scout for the national team will be coming to watch her game the following day. Later, Jess and the family pick Cece up for the practice and head to the planetarium. The family runs into a fortune teller called Anglica at the planetarium, who thinks the Walker family could use a little Christmas magic. She advises them to open their hearts and better understand each other, and they will get to the very thing that they need. Inside, Cece quarrels with Jess about wanting to join the national team and giving up college, while Wyatt and Bill argue about Wyatt's upcoming college interview. Bill wanted Wyatt to postpone his early admission to college and give himself a chance to enjoy being a teenager. The family rejoins, mumbling about how neither understands what the other one is going through, and finally, it was their turn at the giant telescope, and Anglica shows up and offers to take a family photo. And suddenly, a strange cosmic occurrence happens, causing the telescope to break and the family to fall to the ground. The lights flicker at the house later at night, and a strong wind blows and the candle flickers off. The family wakes to a shocking discovery the following morning, with Jess swapping bodies with Cece, 
Bill with Wyatt, and Miles with Pickles. They freak out and gather in the kitchen, trying to understand the cause of the body swap, but they had to take a break from brainstorming to run after Miles, who wanders into the street since he's now a dog. Later they try to figure out that the body swap might be related to the telescope and the planetary alignment, and they all head to the planetarium to switch back, but maintenance tells them that it would take weeks to repair. However, Wyatt now Bill offers to pay him as long as he ensures the repair is done by the end of the day, and left with no choice but to each other for the day, the walkers hire Rolf to babysit Miles and Pickles. Cece and Jess head to Jess's workplace and this time, Jessie has to accompany Cece, who is in her body, to coach her on handling the presentation with Molson Group. After awkwardly interacting with her colleagues, Jess pulls Cece into her office and prepares note cards. However, Cece is anxious about the presentation and secretly eats chocolate and ice cream. White and Bill arrive at the school elsewhere and Bill had no intention of staying low-key like Wyatt. And meanwhile, the presentation is horrible and Jess's lactose intolerant body worsens it. Afterwards at the game, Cece was so stressed out because the scout for the national team was watching and Jess was messing everything up on the field. Meanwhile, Bill takes Wyatt's Yale interview and Wyatt connects with his childhood crush Ariana who walks up to him thinking he is Wyatt's father. Wyatt finds out that he and Ariana have many things in common and she invites him to a party later that night. Back at the game, Jess gets the opportunity to score her winning goal, but to everyone's dismay she prioritizes helping the opposing team's goalkeeper who was injured by her tackle. Cece was devastated after the game and thinks Jess intentionally jeopardized her chance since she does not care about her and wants to make her happy. Meanwhile, Rolf is overwhelmed by Miles but stunned by Pickle's discipline. The family heads to the planetarium later that night, hoping to reverse the body switch, but the maintenance crew has terrible news. They put the telescope back together but could not find the crucial fifth lens handmade in Switzerland without which the telescope would not work. The alignment lasts one more time, and if they fail, they have to wait until 2162 to catch the next one. Outside, they run into Anglica again, who insists that the family needs to fix what is broken, and Cece thinks that Anglica is talking about the telescope, and Wyatt suddenly realizes that one of his friends can help, and Anglica offers to drive the family home, Wyatt mentions the party, and Bill talks Jess into attending the party on Wyatt's behalf, and they sneak out while Cece and Wyatt lays around in the sitting room. Suddenly, Jess's mom's friends arrive with wine, and they were ready for dinner while Ariana approaches Bill at the party. They each have an awkward moment when Jess's friends ask Cece and Wyatt to kiss, and Ariana tries to kiss Bill. Cece and Wyatt make a mess in the kitchen while Jess and Bill let themselves have some fun at the party. Hunter tries to bully Wyatt at the party, but Bill stands up to him and later, the Walker family have a moment of fun together before the police break up the party. The following day, the family wakes up and Jess has to go to school and do a math test for Cece, while Cece decides to be her mom but in her own way. At work, Cece rallies the support of Jess's team to help with the presentation, while Jess nerds out at the math class. After the class, Jess was surprised to learn that Cece has made considerable progress in her studies, and meanwhile, Wyatt freaks out when his friend updates him that he might be unable to deliver the lens before the end of the planetary alignment. The nerves take over and Wyatt runs away from the band before they start making their performance, and at the office, Cece learns that Jess has made severe sacrifices in her life so she can be there for Cece. Cece therefore, when Jess arrives at work, the mother and daughter apologize for letting each other down and appreciate each other's efforts. Meanwhile, Wyatt was hiding in the toilet when he hears some high school students talking about how his father sacrificed a chance of a lifetime just to be his dad. 
Before the presentation, Jess and Cece receive an SOS message from Bill, and they had to leave urgently. The crowd at the high school party were impatient, and the lead singer, Bill, is missing. Jess and Cece arrive to help Bill look around for Wyatt, and Bill finds him hiding in a toilet, and Wyatt apologizes for Bill having to settle for being his father instead of a rock star. However, Bill explains that even though the band he quit went on to become a famous band, he would not trade what he has now for anything since being Wyatt's dad has been a lifetime adventure. Jess and Cece join them, and Wyatt gets the family's courage to rock on the stage. And after the performance, Kara walks up to Mr. Molson to inform Jess that she won the Jefferson Gardens presentation and made partner at the firm. Wyatt's friend arrives with the lens, and the firm has 37 minutes to get to the planetarium. The chase against time leads to a dangerous but exciting ride for the family in their father's Camaro and Wyatt driving for the first time. They make it to the planetarium, but Wyatt slips and breaks the lens, and all hope is almost lost. But Miles hands them the missing lens, and they make a wish seconds before the planetary alignment disappears, but nothing changes. Anglica drives them back home, and even though the family's disheartened, they still find solace in each other's arms and huddle together on the sofa and fall asleep, promising to get through whatever happens the next day. Unexpectedly, the family returns to their bodies the following day and back to their chaotic normalcy. Wyatt receives a rejection email from Yale, but is happy to stick around. Ariana kisses him and promises to hang out later, and suddenly the scout from the national team arrives with news that Cece is invited to join the tryouts for the national team. Jess encourages her to take the chance and promise to attend each of her games, and the family finally gets back their Christmas spirit, playing in the snow, delighting in the Christmas miracle. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our recap. Like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.